God divorced his bride for doing pagan idolatry. Nothing new under the sun, right? He divorced her for playing the harlot, right? He divorced her, he gave her a bill of divorce, he sent her out of his house, and he cursed her. He poured the spirit of deep sleep upon his people, upon his bride, spiritual Israel, which are those who do the will of the Father, that are in covenant with the Father. She was led into captivity, dispensed to the four corners of the earth until the end days when after 2,000 years of being asleep, forgetting who she was, the curse is lifted. The scriptures are unsealed. Knowledge is being increased. And now, the true sheep are starting to hear the true voice of the true shepherd coming through the word of God and the Holy Spirit. As Yah, our Heavenly Father, pours out His grace abundantly upon His people. The election of grace. And according to Scripture, in these days, the Gentiles are coming forth from the four corners of the earth, where they were scattered. And they're coming forward and they're proclaiming, Surely, our fathers, they've inherited nothing but lies. They're coming to the truth. They're starting to study the laws, the commandments, to start to follow the Lamb where He went. Becoming in His likeness, in His image. They're starting to spring up like the grass. They're starting to spring up like willows amongst the grass. Right? As Isaiah 44 tells us. Surnaming Himself. For I am Israel. I am Jacob. I am Yahuwah! They're coming to the truth of the Word of God. They're coming all to all walks and all lives, all religions from the left, from the right. Judaism and Christianity and Mormonism and Catholicism and 45,000 denominations of Christianity. They're coming from those religions and those walks of life from the left, from the right, and they're getting on the narrow path right down the middle, keeping the commandments of Yah and holding strong to the testimony of His Son that He sent to die for us, to be our example of how we ought to walk, right? Turning the people's hearts back to the Father in His ways, the ancient path, walking with our staff. Loving our neighbors like we love ourselves. Screaming it boldly from the rooftops. Being hated for his namesake. His true lost sheep hear his words. You not hear his words because you are not his sheep. Yah's drawing a line in the sand. And he's stepping back. As everything that was hidden is being revealed. And he's given his bride a chance and an opportunity to make the right decision. Conforming to the world in the wisdom of it. Or embracing the knowledge of God. For Hosea says... My people will be destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And since you rejected my knowledge, you rejected my reproof, you rejected my counsel, I will reject thee, and I will reject your children. I will laugh at your calamity. You shall be no priest unto me. Take heed, let no one deceive you. Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. Where are the briars and thorns? They'll choke you out by the ways, the cares, and the pleasures of the world. Take heed at the wolves in sheep's clothing, for you shall know them by their fruits. He's coming back for a bride that's washed clean, a bride that's decked in her ornaments, 
that has on her white garments, wrapped in robes of righteousness, a new creature whose heart's set right. He's not coming back for a Roman Greco pagan abomination. That's why he divorced his bride. That's why he cursed his bride. This is the gospel. He sent his son to be an example for us, to show us how to walk it out, but to reconcile that bride back to him. Taking away the curse that was added, becoming the curse. Cursed is any man that hangeth from a tree, not a cross. The devil's a liar and he's in the details. He's the father of lies and he liked to lie to you. For 2,000 years, his bride has been asleep. But now, her eyes are starting to open. He's pulling out that stony heart. And he's putting in that heart of flesh. He's giving them a new heart, a new spirit that's making them walking away. Keeping his laws, his commandments, his statutes, his judgments. Striving for his righteousness, not our own. He's coming back for the bride that's washed clean, that's adorned with those ornaments, wrapped in robes of righteousness, not a Roman Greco pagan abomination, and filed with harlotry. Let no man see. Y'all have a blessed day. Hallelujah.